Audio Jungle. An invasive succulent plant that has over the years caused suffering among pastoralists in Laikipia North Sub County could now turn out to be a blessing through utilizing it in production of green energy. Affected residents have for over a decade struggled with little success to eliminate Opuntia stricta, a species of cactus that has led to deaths of hundreds of livestock. The local community has been complaining that the pricky thorns of the cactus injure goats and sheep when they feed on them during drought causing septic wards in the mouth, resulting to death. In 2016, the national government, in an effort to eliminate the weed, launched a biological control method by importing cochineal insects from South Africa. The insects are the only known predator to the plant. Two years later, since the release of the insects to the world, expansive community lunches have witnessed retro change, and the cactus still occupy tens of acres in Makurian, Doldo. Mulpusi and Ilipole locations. But an environment scientist, Francis Marie, who hails from the community, has come with an effective way that he says if wholly embraced by the community could see the problematic weed eliminated completely from the lad in a few years' time. Marini said that he has been doing a research and he was able to produce biogas using this plant. This is my own uh, innovation. So what I'm doing is that I'm getting uh, a cactus from the wild. I bring it here. Uh, I, I, uh, I put it into the machine. It, it is it, it put it inside the machine. The machine crushed it into a porridge-like substance. Then I pour it into the uh, the, the, the biodigest as you are seeing here. So. After around 21 days, uh, fermentation, you know, begins. Bacteria inside the, the these containers, you know, begin working on the on the on the on the cactus, you know, on the cactus porridge, and that is when the biogas methane is produced, which now we can use for cooking. Mm -hmm. If the community can embrace it, and 1,000 families harvest 20 kg daily to feed the biogas digester, 20 tons of the plant would be harvested daily. The, the machine which crushed it into, into porridge-like substance, then the, that substance is transferred to, to the containers you are seeing here, and uh, it stays there for around 21 days uh, to ferment, just the way cow dunk, uh, the cow dunk uh, that uh, other biogas uh, component utilize does. So after 21 days, uh, fermentation occurs, and now we get uh, the biogas is being produced. So after that, after the 21 uh, days, each and every day, I will be utilizing like 20 kgs of, of cactus uh, to feed the bacteria, the bacteria that are inside uh, these containers. Mm -hmm. Merini's innovation has cost him shillings 80,000 through purchase of chef cutter, three 200 liters plastic containers, piping system, and a special biogas burner. Unlike conventional method applied in biogas production where digesters are placed at the ground, Mr. Merini uses three plastic containers as digesters. Well, I. You see now the problem of cactus in this area, uh, it has devastated livelihoods, it has really affected uh, the entire community. So we've been thinking of how we can get rid of it. So this is just one of the ways that uh, we are coming up with to make sure that we are checking the offer growth of this uh, weed that was introduced uh, to this area by the colonial government. Mm -hmm. Yeah. I just researched, I just researched and I thought it wise that if uh, cow dung can produce, uh, uh, can produce biogas, why not uh, these succulent plants which also contain biomass that cow dung also you know, contains. So that is how I came up with the, with the idea.
Mm -hmm. yeah. He says he got the idea after researching on how the problem is being dealt with in Mexico, a country that, in the past, had a similar charge of Opuntia menace. However, production of biogas in the country is done at the industrial level, or what he did was to scale it down to household level. He noted that though the use of cochineal insect is still a viable method of eliminating the succulent invasive plant, it does not do well during the rainy season since the insects released are washed away and die during rainy seasons. Wild animals that roam freely in the region, including elephants and baboons, heavily feed on the opuntia fruits and help in the spread since their seeds are hardly digested. Me, I'm using 20 kgs of cactus each and every day. So if, uh, let's say, a thousand families have the same, uh, uh, same, uh, same structure, so that is 20,000 kilograms of, uh, of, of cactus multiplied by a thousand. That is approximately 20 tons of cactus being utilized by the locals. So and you can imagine th those 20,000, uh, 20, 20 tons of, uh, of cactus, you know, being used each and every day. So in one year, it will be massive, you know. We'll have, uh, we'll have destroyed almost uh, an equivalent amount of, uh, of this weed in this area. Yeah. With the community now set to explore biogas production using the plant after the innovative breakthrough, the Raikipia County government is optimistic that a permanent solution to a problem that has remained a thorn in the fresh could be in the offing. Merini's project will be among 50 exhibitions at the inaugural two-day Laikipia County Innovation Exhibition Fair in Nyahururu, where Governor Dili Tumuridi's administration has pledged financial support to individuals who come up with outstanding projects in the fields of agriculture, energy, technology, and information and communication. It is hoped that environmental experts will work with Merini and see how biogas production using Opontia can be improved and also come up with ways of minimizing carbon dioxide emitted during the biogas production process. Audio jungle.